Halo has always had some awesome Easter eggs, and it looks like Halo Infinite doesn't fail in that department. With an insane turret gun, Craig has his own rock, and a bunch of little character-themed plushies placed throughout the world. These are all the Easter eggs people found day one. How's it going, Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video. Today we're doing some information on Easter eggs and some pretty cool things that I found, as well as the community, and I wanted to share them with you today. So if you guys like these showcase type of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo. Now that Halo Infinite's fully released, we'll make sure to tap subscribe, so let's get right into the content here. The first one we're gonna look at is what I'm referring to as the turret gun. This is found just outside Outpost Tremonius, where you first get into the open world of Halo. You jump on top of that pillar, it gives you an option to pick it up, and yeah, you get to shoot down like all the bad guys with this turret tank, and you get to keep it as a secondary weapon on your character the entire time. So if you want to, you could walk through the entire campaign with this on, which is just insane. But if you want to, you could. I have only played around for the first mission because it's obviously not the intended experience, but it's pretty dang awesome. Definitely a fun thing to try out if you haven't seen it yet. But this isn't the only Easter egg that's around this initial area as well. There's another one that it's a bit of a fireworks show, if you will. You can call in an airstrike in this area. So the first thing you do as you go backwards and you see this button over here, you make sure to tap that button. And then what you do, there's a, I want you to tap that button. There's a second and the third button as well just kind of keep along this right side right here this was showcased in a green skull video so big thanks to green skull for showing this amazing little easter egg right here which is so cool and also it's a great way to just kind of take out the enemies without really having to try a whole lot i mean it's just like not really that necessary but it's still pretty dang cool and the last one is actually right next to the turret gun location as well you see a downed marine right next to it you press that button and what happens is uh, some magical airstrikes coming from the sky right here. And here they come right now, just come in, smashing everything in the area. It also takes out the Phantom as well. So it's just a cool little Easter egg kind of thing, which I think is really fun to do. Again, thanks to Green School for posting this video. Check out his channel, guys. A lot of great content over there. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this Easter egg right here. It's like the Craig concert that's on top of the tower that's in Halo Infinite as well, which there also is a skull there as well. But there is another another Craig reference, a little more subtle, but just as good. And this could be up to interpretation, but this definitely looks like a rock in the shape of Craig, if you look at it, it's just the right angle. I mean, Craig basically became the spokesperson or spokes brute, if you think of it that way, of guy kind of caused the delay, which ended up this game making this game so much better. Next, it's a funny little clip during like that basic sequence in the beginning of the game where you have to look at the different lights. If you don't look at the lights, well, the pilot kind of gets a little uh, impatient with it, to say the least. He kind of gives you like this little kind of nudge, like, hey, you chief, you you right? Do you want to just like you know? Look over there, he kind of looks down and go like, okay, you're just not going to look. He's like, hey man, it's like right there, check it out. Just look at it right, right there. So a fun little Easter egg, certainly. Another thing is that you can find various little plushies throughout the world as well. Here's one with the Master Chief little plushie. I found one myself actually, which is kind of cool. But it found it organically, so uh, I guess I'm kind of special that way, but I found the pilot one. Here's the little pilot plushie that I found. You can kind of see in the background where it's located. I think it's pretty much on the highest point within the map. This is where you'll find the pilot plushie. But there's another one that's been found as well. NRB plushie has also been found in this world. I don't know if there's anything else. Maybe there's a Cortana one. Maybe there's a weapon one. I don't know, but this is all day one stuff that people have found. So a lot of great things to kind of little Easter eggs to find throughout the world of Zeta Halo. And the, for the last little Easter egg that the community has found so far, there is a Mr. Me Seeks box in the tower where you go save Spartan Griffin. And so that's another just fun little Rick and Morty reference. If you guys haven't seen that show, I highly suggest watching the first two or three seasons because that show is amazingly hilarious. And those are some of the Easter eggs that have been found so far within the world of Zeta Halo. This is only day one, guys. I'm sure we're gonna be finding a lot more out there as well. And if there are some good ones, you know I'll share it on the channel here, guys. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.